So here we are getting ready for our Hazel McCallion 5K walk. That inaugural first of its kind named after our Wasaga mayor or previous mayor. And it's to raise funds for the Trillium Health Partners Foundation in hopes of creating the largest hospital in all of Canada. And so it took place in Port Credit in uh, Memorial Park. So it's a very large open field where we have a lot of tents and pavilions with sponsors. But we also have a group with our department that we made as a team. The radiation department. Yes, and we called ourselves radioactive, but there were also a bunch of other departments, of course, renal, diagnostic imaging, surgery, who all came out to support this event. And it turned out to be a really beautiful, sunny day. And a lot of your friends were there. Yeah, so... Um, so here's the food section. It was really well organized for the fact that we haven't had any um, event in such a long time. It's almost like a race event. So this is like the breakfast component. With cr chocolate croissants. And they had juice boxes and bananas and yogurt. So very typical like race event for the morning. Yeah. Mini muffins. But the boys didn't really want to eat. They were kind of shy. We also got these like little packs with coupons inside and uh, more water bottles. For more food later. For more food later. So here we are just waiting for the start. It started at 10 a.m. in the morning. So we're just checking out all the other vendors. I really want to try that bundt cake, but uh, mm. there's a lot of lineups after, really, which we'll see. So here's the start, and um, we there, really in, there in the orange is Hazel McCallion. We were really following her because I wanted to uh, see if we can actually take a photo shot with her. So she's 101 years old. And she's still very much involved in community and corporate sponsors. So she's quite an inspiration to see. She's a little bit peaked here, but ultimately when she had her speech later on, she still sounds very robust and inspiring. And a lot of people wanted to take a photo with her. And so we lined up. It's almost like she's, uh, we're like fan, fan, fanning, fangirling. Hmm. And there's us. And so here's the start. And uh, we just wanted to see where it was at, take some photo shots here. Ultimately, they had like a live uh, band and Olympians, some Olympians to do the uh, warm up. Yes. And uh, a lot of people were still milling around in the larger field. We just wanted to get ahead. And here's the finish, which is just the other side of the start. So we know it's a closed loop. Uh, we're doing the 5K distance. There's also a 2K if you have smaller kids. So there's a lot of people here. I know. It was a little bit eye-opening because we haven't gathered together outside or inside in such a long time with this amount of people. That said, it was a very fun um, start. So also the current mayor Crumbie. was also there to promote this uh, fundraiser and also Peter Gilgan and his uh, corporates. And there's some signs, pharmacy. I know, they had, we didn't realize we could be like going all out. Some people were super creative. Yes, and there's Mayor Crombie. everybody. It's great to be here. You know, you're all going to be so healthy after this walk. I thought the idea of a walk tied in so well with health care. And whoever came up with the idea was a great, great idea. You know, one thing this pandemic has taught us, that we need more hospital beds. Is that right? And we need more hospital beds in Mississauga. Because when we need a bed, it's good to know there's one at the hospital for you. And that's what this is all about. We want to build the most modern. So off we go. This is the start of the walk. Uh, it started just a little bit after 10, so a little bit delayed. It's always quite crowded uh, and dense at the get-go. I was kind of behind there somewhere. But then we started walking. There's someone I running. Know, I was a little bit jealous of the person who could run, walk. Uh, so we're actually going at a pretty good clip for a walk, even for Nick, who usually isn't a fast walker. And this is the finish, because I st stopped recording I while we were going. I see. Well, that was all of 5K exciting <laughs> times. And we got, like, fairly early enough. As you can see, there's not many people who finished ahead of us at that point. And we got a participation ribbon. I know. And here's Hayden. Maria's taking Hayden's footage. Oh. And Hayden is finishing as well. But he did run most of it pretty well so Hayden had a good time afterwards because there were some bouncy castles to go to so 
You'll see that soon. It but was entertaining. This is him getting his ribbon. And over there, all the colorful, bouncy castles you can see in the background. They are colorful. So right now, it's not too busy because we finished early, but... Most of the people are going to start coming in yeah. and it's going to start getting dense. If anything, we really should have started to line up for all of the foodies, but he wanted to really go to the bouncy castle. And that's how I motivated him to actually run a bit faster or walk faster because I'm like, let's get there first so that you can plan the bouncy castle right away. So this away. one is a climbing and then a slide. But it's an a, a open loop, right? Like you couldn't go back. You'd have to go through the grass again. Yep. And so people were just oh, going in circles. Look at that. Socks and grass. And then he's waiting in line to go into the bouncy castle. So well behaved. And there he goes. I feel like he's missed out a couple of years of this kind of experience. So it's kind of nice that he got to, to do this. I feel like when the... I think Mason, when he first had a bouncy castle, he was, he was afraid too, of it. Yeah, it was, he was too small. <laughs> he was too bouncy. Because again, we have like large kids in it with little kids. It can get pretty um, active. But yeah, I'm trying to get him, but he keeps running away. Without knowing that I'm following him. Whoa, look at that. It's like a wrestling move. I think this is the first time you're seeing this. It is the first time <laughs> I'm seeing this. Oh, that's cool. And then there's like a punching bag. How long were you guys here for? Uh, the think... whole time that you were lined up for the burger. I, yeah, you, <laughs> you guys went to the bathroom and then you guys were lining up at Paramount. Oh. How did you convince him to get out? Uh, he got tired. And so we actually put this picnic table underneath the tree for shade. But yeah, we had a pretty good setup for the group. And then um, again, there's also other balloons. Venues, like, yeah. So he got a sword. And there's also face painting, but he was too shy to do face painting. And here we're lining up for pizza. Pizza, pizza. Because the burger wasn't enough. But they all came in these little uh, triangular packaging, which is cute. And just eating the pizza. Some of your coworkers. Mm. So it was a really nice day. We could have had a frisbee day. Uh, this is us heading out. Thank you.